share this channel on the internet. One more time guys, on the west side. Yep, this is one of my favorite places. And do you know why? Do you notice why? Because right now it's 1.30 in the afternoon and guess what? We're right here, we're gonna go. We're gonna take you guys today to the west side sandbar. So let's go, go on show. And if you're here locally in Miami, you notice that lately the ramp's been closing really early, like 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's how easy it is. We're on the water, baby, and ready to go. And yep, it is a boys' day out because the girls didn't want to come. So it's the boys, the boys on the west side. And loving it today. And let's check, let's do a weather check. Let's do a weather check. Well, so far so good. It looks okay. And it is about 1.30, almost 2. So we'll see you around 3 o'clock. I noticed that's when the afternoon thunder showers start. Right. We'll see how it goes. Woo! So let's go. Make sure, baby. Off we go for today's journey to Boca Grande Sandbar and it should be about a two hour trip. And to everyone that's watching the channel for the first time, make sure to like the video, subscribe and turn on all notifications. Like that, you won't miss no more videos being uploaded in the future. something you cannot get away from is the miserable mile that you already know I like to call it their relaxing mile and as you can see there's other boaters out here already enjoying their day And well, I'm gonna take this relaxing time and answer one of the questions that I'm gonna guess is from the new subscribers. And the question was, why does my intro say the wettest channel on the internet? Well, what can I say? Can it be more obvious that we love spending time out in the water? And to answer one more question that I got is, when are we gonna do a west side sandbar party? Well, it's in the works. And if you don't wanna miss out on local events, make sure to follow us on Instagram. And talking about Instagram, I would like to thank those people that buy merchandise and send me the pictures that I post on Instagram. But make sure to tag us, Sandbar Life and Fresco Channel. And also, thank you for those people that send me videos of their local sandbar or lake party. Thank you so much for the love and support, guys. Yep, 
the journey is far but to us is fun and relaxing because we get to ride the whole ride with almost perfectly flat water and we get to sight see other boats coming by too also we alternate drivers giving us some time to rest And roughly about an hour and 45 minutes, we can see the sandbar right up ahead. And even though it's pretty late, there's still plenty of boaters here enjoying the sandbar life. But as tempting and fun that it seems, we're not gonna stop now. We're gonna try testing our lungs by the old rebel track because last time Fresquito and Joel caught really big snooks here. There? And here we go for the Quito and Joe saw a real big snook, so they tried the luck. And guess what? Nope, it didn't want to hit. So we kept on moving along. And we thought it's because we're using pinfish for bait. So we decided to go outside to the beach and see if we could catch some live sardines. And by the way, I would like to say thank you to the subscribers that leave me those great comments, especially the ones that tell us that our videos help you guys get through the workday or just staying at home. And I clearly understand you and relate because I do it myself. Because if I can't be on the water, might as well daydream about it, right?
And another cool thing about this place is there's basically three sandbars. There's one on the west side of the railroad tracks, one on the east side, and one heading out towards the gulf east of the bridge that we're passing by right now. hunting for sardines because we didn't find nothing over there by the old railroad tracks but I don't think there's nothing here either the water looks nice though but it's nothing it's empty even the beach is empty there's no one here so we're gonna go ahead and try the other side it's pretty cool here I've never been on this side it's pretty nice well there's no local boaters nor some local sardines but there's plenty of seabirds hanging out on the beach But now we decided to hit throttles and go a little bit north of Gasparilla to see what else we could find. Alright, so we went now north of Gasparilla looking for sardines. And I don't know. Is there anything? Yeah, a jack. A jack? One thing here though, the pretty and uh, the beach is really pretty. I like it a lot. And look at that guys. That lot right there is for sale. Anybody wanna buy it? Let's take a guess. I'm gonna go a million, two million. Well guys, I checked and I was off. This is nice here. It's shallow here. See anything though? Yeah, I don't know. It's, something's going on. I guess the sardines are on vacation. So we're on the hunt. They're afraid of me. They're afraid of you? Why yeah. they're afraid of you? Are you yeah. a sardine snatcher? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're sightseeing and, and hunting at the same time. It's a few boats out here. This was uh, that video that I did that I found that the water here was crystal clear. Today is not, it's clear, but not clear, crystal clear. I guess, uh, I don't know. I got a little, a little mixed up with all the rainwater, I guess. Um, so I don't know. We hunting. We hunting. That's still nice though. There's sandbars everywhere. I like it a lot. You want to keep moving around or what? All right. So from a sandbar destination, it turned out to exploration beachside, and now we're heading up even north toward stomp pass that a few locals have told me that there's another sandbar up there so i guess it's a perfect day to check it out and this is something you gotta love about the west side right now we're riding on the gulf and there's no waves and no seaweed because lately in miami there's been a lot of seaweed on the beach and right now i'm feeling really lucky i can enjoy both sides and like i said on instagram and tiktok now you can check out the video descriptions and find links of some of the items that we use 
videos like cameras, equipment, or even clothing that you can purchase them online just by clicking on the link. And just about another 25 minutes riding north, we have reached Stump Pass Inlet. And yep, if you're wondering, we traveled all the way from our house all the way up here and it's about a 55 mile cruise. And honestly, I've never been here, so we're just gonna drive around and follow the boaters. Well guys, to me this is amazing because there's plenty of water and places to explore on the west coast. And the nice thing to me is the only way to see these places is by boat. Well guys, like you can see, this place takes sea laxing to the next level. And I think I'm gonna have to come back in a later day with more time and explore some more. But now we're gonna head back to Boca Grande Sandbar. But you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow for part two. And definitely, you don't wanna miss it because you know what time it is, you know what time it is. Here it is, baby, it's time for the time. Baby, it's time for the time at the sandbar. And also, we got to have lunch with a show that was pretty entertaining to watch and well definitely we can't forget the afternoon thunderstorm that we got caught in one more time and we try to get away from it as fast as we could and all that and more is coming up tomorrow